guys, welcome back to my channel where I make videos about tech, unboxing, product reviews, events, and some fun stuff. And for today's video, I will be talking about the onboarding process in IT, what does it mean, what it entails, and what are the tasks we're supposed to do as IT when we are doing this process. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with the onboarding process video. Hi guys, so I am currently working from home and this is my new home setup and one of my tasks today is onboarding a new hire that is gonna start today. So I figured I'll talk about it in this video just to give you an idea if you are just starting in IT or you are interested in getting into IT role. Because onboarding and offboarding is one of the primary roles being in IT and that's usually in every job description when you're applying for a job in IT. So, so I'm just gonna give you an overview and an idea of how we do it in our company and what kind of access we give the new hires. Okay, so before we onboard a user, let us discuss what is onboarding first. So onboarding means a lot of different things depending on what department you are working with. So onboarding, just to simply define it, is just giving the new hire access and all the login that he needs in the system to be able to do his job. So as an IT professional, we are responsible for setting up all the access and the login for the new user to be able to interact with our system, our network, and our tools that we use in the company and giving them the base level access that they need. So now that we know what onboarding is, let's move on to the task that IT has to do with this process. So in our company, there's two parts in the onboarding process. First is setting up the access and accounts for the new hire. And second is the IT orientation with the new employee. So whenever we're getting a new hire in the company, what happens is that HR opens a ticket and then IT gets the ticket with all of the information for the new hire such as first name and last name, who the manager is going to be, what team he is joining, and when his start date is. And when we get the ticket, we usually just run the new hire script and that helps setting up his access the day before he is starting to work. And that is the first part of the onboarding process. And on his start date, we are going to do the IT orientation for him to walk him through all the setup and the login that he needs and just making sure that he is able to access everything that he needs to work. And we have to make sure that the user is going to get the base level access and that is an Active Directory account, Google, phone extension, Slack, access to Jira. So today is the start date for the new hire. And yesterday, I was able to set up all of his access, which includes the phone extension. So we use a via site admin to create a new extension for him. And then Active Directory account was also created. And he's automatically added to the domain users which enables him to log in to all of the systems in our domain and that is a default group in the active directory and that gets added when you run the new hire script also when active directory account is created we have to reset the password for the users so we have a temporary password that we could give him in order for him to log in. Next is we set up his Google account. So right now we are doing this manually and we just add a new user and fill out all of the information that is required to make a, an account and also set up a temporary password for him to use to be able to log in with his email. And on the second part of onboarding, the IT orientation, we do it virtually now because we are all working from home. We just make sure that he installs all the application and software that he needs to be able to access systems and log in and he needs for work. Hey, I'm from IT and I'm gonna help you with your setup for your access. So let's get started with your email account and you can sign in with a new account in gmail.com and your email address should be your first name dot your last name at 
the company name dot com and I am gonna send over your temporary password through the chat box okay now let's move on to your Active Directory account I'm gonna provide you the username and the temporary password as well in the chat box so you are gonna log in to most of the systems including the VPN client with these credentials so now that you have the credentials for your Active Directory account you can now install the VPN client so I am gonna send you over the link for that and you can download and install the client on your machine now while you are waiting for that to install you can also install Microsoft Authenticator on your phone. That is the app that we use for MFA when logging in. So go ahead and install that app as well. So that is onboarding process. Basically, it just gives new hires access to the system and just making sure that they are able to log in with their user account credentials. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions in the next video you want me to make, please leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in my next videos.